There's his drink lineup. <laughs> Looks like one of them is a margarita, maybe. Uh, anyway, Jeff, it's great to have you. Let's get uh, right to it. First stock, uh, Facebook or Meta, what would you do with it? Well, Kelly, if we're going to stay with the, the drinking uh, analogy, I will take a sip of the Facebook. You got to believe in the hoodie and Mark Zuckerberg. But no doubt about it, we have seen all three of these stocks we're going to talk about really taken out to the proverbial woodshed. But Facebook in specific had some privacy issues come up, really presented by Apple. And that's about a $10 billion punch to the face of Mark Zuckerberg. As we've seen, Facebook really been a tailspin since those quarterly results came out cautioning and talking about apprehension moving forward. But nonetheless, I think I'm going to add to my long here. I was initially in on the IPO, but I think really when you look at Facebook at 2 billion active daily users a day, that's across all their apps from WhatsApp to Instagram as well as Facebook, I think they're poised for growth, but they had to have a discovery in price and they had to have a reposition as the privacy issues presented to them, which allows them to sell and collect those marketing dollars. That is an issue to contend with, and that's why we've seen an absolute dislocation in the price down to $225. Let's move on. Our graphic shows Netflix and chill. It's actually a uh, margarita there. Uh, down about 37%. I just watched uh, the Tinder Swindler last night. I'd, I'd buy the stock just on that. It was pretty good. <laughs> well... Tyler, all the folks in Mexico know that I definitely do like margaritas last week, but nonetheless, I am not going to take a sip of Netflix. And why I have no love for Netflix, despite the fact that the Kilberg family absolutely gorged last week on Netflix, what we do see is that this is in a wild price discovery mode. You have seen all the fang stocks, Tyler. Talk about Apple, Amazon, Google. Really rebound this last couple of weeks here to close out the quarter. We've seen Netflix really uh, unimpressed, no buyers have really come in. So when you talk about this being the worst drop in the stock since 2012, I don't think the falling knife is done yet. So I do not want to take a sip of this margarita, my friend. All right. All right. So that's two down. The final name is PayPal. Jeff, what would you do with this stock pacing for its worst quarter ever, more than 60% off the highs? Well, what kind of drink is PayPal there, Kelly? Looks I can't like see a gimlet. Looks board. like a vodka gimlet to me. <laughs> I'm not All right, sure. Well, I can get warmed up to PayPal if it's a vodka gimme, but nonetheless, I like PayPal, but I don't like it enough to be buying it right here. And why is that? If you look at it is trading inexpensively. It's about 20 times for 2023 earnings per share targets. I think that it's had a significant repricing, again, because of all the years of just tremendous performance. Remember when they dipped into crypto and they allowed all their vendors to accepting crypto? I think that's made a big difference in PayPal, but you're seeing a lot of profit taking. So technically, let's look at the technicals for one second, Kelly. And I think if you look at the 50-day moving average at 121, I want to see a couple consecutive daily closes above that 50-day moving average to really help me embrace this vodka gimlet. All right, there it is at 117. Jeff, can you give us a parting thought on the markets overall? How do each of these trades fit into what you think the second quarter could look like? Well, Kelly, I think it's a great question. I think we really have to understand the growth stocks. What our growth stocks have done for our portfolios. Here at Sanctuary, we certainly don't want to walk away from growth stocks. But now, all of a sudden, there are specific growth stocks that are showing value characteristics. So I think you have to look at a Facebook. You have to be considerate, though. When these stocks have profit-taken repositioning in these big institutions, it takes quarters for them to really regain their footing. So be considerate, but don't be uh, walking away from some of the stocks that have worked for so long. I know Facebook's IPO came at $40 about $200 ago. I still think there's growth in a stock like that. We actually consider Facebook an essential name. But remember, there's a correlation to the NASDAQ 100, but they have seen dislocation. And dislocation, Kelly, does provide opportunity to buy. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.